Hello, this is Brian Vickery in sunny Denver, Colorado with another video log. Now I can look forward to waking up just about every morning in Denver, Colorado and look forward to it being a sunny day. And that's one of the reasons why I love living here. But I'll tell you another reason why I love living here from an IT professional standpoint. There's an organization here, a nonprofit called Colorado Technology Association that does an excellent job about putting IT professionals together in a networking capacity so that they can perhaps find their next opportunity, their next employer, or perhaps even get the incentive to go on and become entrepreneurs on their own. Colorado Technology Association is also very involved in public policies that make it so that we have a receptive business environment for corporations to bring their headquarters to Denver, Colorado. It's a wonderful place to put their corporations. But I'm going to tell you about an event today that has a deadline associated with it. It's called the Apex Awards. And these Apex Awards have a deadline of August 22nd for you to bring your nominations, and you can even self-nominate, for several categories. The Colorado Technology Association Association is also wonderful at celebrating our own innovation that we have here in the state and these Apex Awards are a perfect example of that. So I'm going to give you some of the categories and I'd like you to consider either nominating some other company or perhaps even nominating your own company because you're bringing innovation to the marketplace. So here are the categories. The first one is Technology Company of the Year. Now what we're looking for here are people that are not only profitable and have strong financial growth but they've also shown technological innovations. They've also got concrete examples of how they benefited the workplace as well as benefited their own community. The next one is the Technology Project of the Year. Now, the Technology Project of the Year obviously has to solve a business problem or strategic objectives, but it, again, has to show innovation. It has to show a value, a true impact to the business, and then meet the goals and even bonus points if you've worked in a team or collaborative environment. Technology Entrepreneur of the Year, I've already told you, Colorado is wonderful when it comes to entrepreneurs. It is a very encouraging environment for entrepreneurs to get started. So in this case, the Technology Entrepreneur of the Year is anybody who has come along kind of in the early stages and basically managed and assumed responsibility of kickstarting a business and getting it started. So if you feel that you have been an entrepreneur that's gone out and found strategic partners or additional financing or whatever it takes, uh, perhaps you just brought that idea and then got everybody else to assist you in starting your own business, then perhaps you ought to look into nominating yourself for a technology entrepreneur. The Technology Community Connector of the Year is special because keep in mind, some entrepreneurs have an outstanding idea but they do not have the connections. And so it's the greatest thing in that you might have the greatest thing since sliced bread, but if people don't know about it, they're not going to invest in it. They're not going to purchase it. You're not going to succeed. So somebody like a technology community connector of the year is somebody we want to celebrate at taking someone who had the ideas and perhaps somebody who had the financing and putting them together. So if you are a person who's kind of done that with an entrepreneur or with a company and helped it getting kickstarted with your connections, so we want to know about that. We want to celebrate that because we appreciate that here in Denver, Colorado. The Bob Newman Lifetime Achievement Award, okay, take that Connector Award, take that uh, uh, Entrepreneur Award. Now imagine doing that day in and day out, year in and year out. You are a contributor. You're a consistent contributor. You're somebody who's always giving back to the community, uh, and you're just looking for opportunities to further the goals of other companies and other individuals, and we want to know about that, uh, and please nominate people. We'll probably know their names because we know how involved they are in the community, but nominate a person for that Lifetime Achievement Award. And finally, one of my favorite ones is the Technology Teacher of the Award. Those of you that have uh, listened to me uh, do other video logs and, and other blogs, education is very important to me. This is the next generation. This is a generation who ultimately is going to take care of us as we move on out of the workforce. So it's very important to have educators who care, who are passionate about our students. And so in that case, we want to know which teachers are best at actually leveraging technology uh, in their endeavor to educate our youth. So it could be anything from, again, online collaboration opportunities, perhaps it's a Facebook fan page where, where you're bringing ideas together that way, or it may be using any of the smart boards or any other uh, technological means. So please, please, even talk to your kids. If they know an instructor that they highly admire that are using technology to, uh, to uh, further their education, then we want to know about that. We want to 
celebrate that because they're truly educating that next generation. So this is Brian Vickery from Denver, Colorado. That's the Apex Awards, and you'll see URLs in this video log in terms of how you can go out there and nominate, and there's some frequently asked questions as well. You can even look at the Wall of Fame in terms of other people who have won this in the past. So I look forward to seeing you at the Apex Awards. You can expect more uh, presentations on this. This is October 24th and 25th when we do the Apex Awards in Demo Gala. And this is Brian Vickery from Denver, Colorado, signing off. You have a fantastic day. Thank you.